Hey, hey, hello, welcome. My name is Shelly and today I am doing the All Hallows Eve book tag. So before we get started, I will say that I was actually tagged to do this video. I'm not, I, I'm not like doing this willy-nilly like all the rest of the tags I do. No, no, I was tagged. I was actually tagged by Nina from Wrestling With Books, but you can also find her at Wrestling With Disney. So I shall leave all her links down below and, uh, you know, let's keep in with the tag. I'm going to tag you, Val, and I'm going to tag you, Katie, because you have no choice. Love ya! <laughs> so with all that said and done, let's get into the prompts. Prompt number one, I put a spell on you, a book with witches. I had a hard time with this one, because it turns out I don't have that many books with witches. What? <laughs> but I did find Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Why am I going yellow? <gasps> Hello. So I believe this is part of a series, but I've only ever read this one and I'm gonna say this, I did enjoy it, but not as much as I enjoyed the movie with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Now that was a good movie. The book and the movie are kind of different from one another. It's basically just the premise and yeah, I like the movie better, but still a very good book and it does have witches in it, so. Why am I yellow? Prompt number two. Something that lurks under the bed. A book with monsters or creatures. <laughs> yeah, I did have a hard time with this one too. Um, I didn't really go for the spooky vibes with this one, but I did pick one that has creatures um, known as The Creakers by Tom Fletcher. So this is a children's book if you couldn't tell by the illustrations and basically the creakers is what lives under the bed but they don't just live under the bed the beds the space under the bed is like a portal to the creek world called the wolib and if you don't know what the wolib is try spelling it out and switching it around very clever so this is just really a cute and funny book. Um, yes, as an adult, I very much enjoyed this as well. No, I did not read this for any children. I read it purely for my own enjoyment. Prompt number three, Blood Type. A book for vampires or a murder mystery? I had a couple of vampire books, sure, but I wanted to go with one that you know, I hadn't just mentioned recently or, you know, that people mention all the time. And I figure, why not just combine the vampire and the murder mystery? Not that it's really a murder mystery, but there are murders and there are mysteries. Uh, and there's loads of vampires. Mainly one, but other stuff too. And it's actually... It's a whole series, but... I've only picked the first book, and it is Once Bitten, Twice Shy by Jennifer Rodden. I believe the whole series is called the Jazz Park series. That's the main character. Uh, and there are eight books in that series. Uh, it's basically uh, a vampire who happens to be the top assassin of the CIA, and uh, that's not who Jazz is. Jazz is like someone else. <laughs> uh, Jazz is like a special, she has special talents um, and as the series progress she she gets more and more of those special talents like ex explored I guess um, but basically it's like vampires, CIA, mystery, murder, assassins, other creatures. It's it's a better series that I'm giving it credit for just by me speaking now uh, and it's one that I'm actually sad to see is doesn't show up more often or you know at all uh, it's it's not YA uh, it's very much more adult um, 
adult fantasy. There you go. <gasps> fantasy. I can be that one next time I'm picking a fantasy book for a book club. Prompt number four, trick or treat. A book that's sweet or features a sweet shop or bakery. So I'm gonna go with like a little bit of both. Uh, it's by the same author, it's just two different series. So first off we have uh, Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop of Dreams. Basically it's about Rosie who leaves London to go help her aunt take care of her sweet shop and she just kind of happens to end up staying there. Um, it's a very sweet book with sweets and love and all that. <laughs> all that fun stuff. So the other book is also by Jenny Colgan and it's Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe. Uh, basically this is about Izzy and uh, her dream of you know starting a bakery, owning a cupcake cafe. But before she can do that she has to go take out a loan at the bank. And who does she meet at the bank? Only like her future, her future husband. Whew. Do they get married? don't remember if they get married but basically she meets the future love of her life and uh, cakes who doesn't love a cake if you don't love a cake we cannot be friends I'm not even joking here <laughs> look at me having a serious face Prompt number five, pumpkin spice and everything nice. A cozy fall book or a book that features fall. So if you saw my cozy autumn fall tag, what was it called? I did recently. If you saw that video, uh, you might know that I don't really have the fall kind of book. I don't have seasonal books. And since I'm very much a mood reader, I don't, I don't see books like seasonally. Is that even a word? I don't know. But I thought of this one and I mean looking at the cover it looks more like Christmas. However, I picked From Notting Hill to New York actually by Ali McNamara and this is the second book I believe uh, in this From Notting Hill actually series. Yeah, uh, basically the reason why I picked this is because it's set in New York, it has New York in the title and if New York doesn't scream autumn to you, what does it scream? Prompt number six, All Hallows Eve, a book with lots of characters or a book that features costumes. Yeah, it's not a secret that I found this tag of prompts kind of hard. Basically all prompts and tags and questions are hard. Yes. Um, it took a while to think of something, but I felt like a book, well a series more like, or the whole universe thing, I don't know. Um, Let's just get to it. I picked The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and it's the OG Mortal Instrument book. It's the one that started it all. I mean this one has loads of characters in it but if you continue with the whole universe of it there's so many characters and I'm sure there's some costumes along the way as well but uh, basically yeah. Prompt number seven, Fright Night. A book that scared you, scares you, or turned out differently than you thought. Turns out I don't have that many scary books. I do have some books that are frighteningly bad, but uh, I didn't want to talk about them. So I picked Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell. Now, this is a YA <laughs> scary book. Yeah, it's a scary book for young adults, because why not? Um, this features dolls. Creepy little dolls that are alive. So there's this 
antique room with loads of dolls. Um, just that thought creeps me out, but yeah. So there's this girl that shouldn't be there, a girl that's died. So ghosts, things. Um, <laughs> it's very hard to say, but you're gonna have to read it. It's a very fast read since it is <laughs> YA, but it also, <laughs> the funny thing is, I just noticed it is a YA book, but it also has a warning not for younger readers. <laughs> Yeah, it's creepy AF. There's also a prequel for the book. Kind of creepy that one too. Not gonna lie. But this one is creepier. For sure. Prompt number eight. A haunting we will go. A book with a haunted house or place. Same author as before is actually The Haunting by Alex Bell. So this is uh, features a house that's been mostly built by a ghost ship that doesn't make any sense <laughs> so parts of the ghost ship like the the woods and stuff have been <laughs> used to build a house um and this house is haunted no shit it's haunted it's one of those as well that says warning not for younger readers it's one of those as well it's not i didn't feel like it was as good as frozen charlotte but it's still one of those creepy AF books and I feel like I should reread these soon. Might have to do that. Let's do that. Prompt number nine, Superstitious Bad Luck. A book with a black cat or a book that features cats. So I don't believe I have a book that has a black cat. I might. I don't know. Um, so I thought I'd pick something lighter again. So I picked We Were On A Break by Lindsay Kelk. So this is a very funny book. It also features a main character who's, who's a vet and she happens to have a cat. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> and that was my cat pulling down loads of books. Great. Basically, Liv and Adam, it starts with Liv and Adam being on holiday. And every every moment is like, he's going to propose. He's, he's going to propose now. He's going to propose now. It's, when is it going to happen? And basically, it leads, it ends up not happening. And she knows he's about to propose because one of her friends told her he was about to propose. So that's great. So it's like added pressure and like they end up breaking up instead of, you know, getting engaged. <laughs> so basically it's that we were on a break. Um, it's a very funny heartwarming book and um, yeah, main character owns a cat. I do recommend this one if you would like some romance and laughter and just cozy feels basically. And for the last prompt, prompt number 10, it's so enchanting, a book with wizards or a book that features an enchanted or magical world. I could go many ways with this, but I'm going to pick a classic. So I'm picking one that we all should know by now. Whether or not we've read it or seen the movies or anything of the source, we should know what this is. So I picked The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which, you know, Narnia, by C.S. Lewis. Uh, if you don't know Narnia by now, where have you been? So the whole Narnia series is seven books and they are all like this size. They are like 200 pages. Yeah, they're about 200 pages and features very big fonts, so, you know, fast reads. It's the one I do recommend if you haven't already read them. That was all the 10 prompts for this tag. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Oh, bye-bye.